department moving quickly to replenish weapons sent to Ukraine. Following Russia's February 2022 invasion of Ukraine, the United States embarked on a long-term commitment to provide Ukraine with the tools and equipment it needs to defend its sovereignty. That means things such as Javelin and Stinger missiles, Himmer's rocket launcher systems, and switchblade unmanned aerial systems, for instance, have been pulled directly from existing U.S. military inventory to be sent overseas. Because so much gear has been pulled from U.S. military units, that equipment must now be replaced in order to sustain America's own readiness, and the Defense Department has already contracted with an array of manufacturers to give back to military units what was taken from them in order to support Ukraine. Already, about $1.2 billion in contracts are underway to replenish U.S. military stocks for weapons sent to Ukraine, Leplanti said. That includes about $352 million in funding for replacement Javelin missiles, $624 million for replacement Stinger missiles, and $33 million for replacement Himmer systems. Another $1.2 billion in contracts are underway now for equipment promised to Ukraine under Asai, including for things like 155mm ammunition, switchblade unmanned aerial systems, radar systems and tactical vehicles.